Welcome to my channel, my name is Alexis Bravo, and today we're going to be talking about free will. Now this is a really hot topic in pretty much every religious circle that exists. <laughs> um, and I'm going to divide the topic into three points, three talking points. The first is about choice, the second is about autonomy, and the third is about change, right? So first, choice. Like, what do we actually have power over? What choices do we actually have? You'll notice, uh, if you do a little digging, that a lot of the time, times we'll, we'll take, we'll make decisions based on unconscious drives. And for the most part, that's just the way that things kind of work, right? Most of our system operates on the most, on the minimal amount of energy that we need, on the minimal amount of focus that we need to live productive, good lives. Everything else is delegated to unconscious processes that the body does to take care of itself. And this is true on multiple levels of experience. So it's not just true for us as individual beings here as, as humans, but it's also true for all other life forms, larger systems. Um, I mean, the universe is very large, right? Uh, and we can't be aware of all of it. We were hardly ever aware of our own choices. So within that is the subject of autopilot right, of running on autopilot. Um, and, and the fact that our choices are, are a consequence of a program. Um, it's how we programmed ourselves to live. The, the choices we make are defined uh, by the history, um, uh, the precedents that we've observed when making choices in the past. Um, every choice that we repeat repetitively make tends to create more of those choices in the future for us to take. Um, so the environment responds to our, our unique history and preferences and expectations based on these mental waves, and it kind of sets us up down particular paths. So whenever we come up with an opportunity, it's not something that just miraculously happened. It was based on our own interaction with our environment. Um, obviously, this is true to certain levels. There are higher powers that do control the arrangement of information. So. Um, so that can be taken with a grain of salt. Uh, but when we do recognize that we are in a program um, and that we've programmed ourselves for the most part, uh, we can take back some of that control by aligning our choices with that of which is gonna serve not just ourselves, but others to the highest possible degree. Um, and God as a whole, uh, the subject of, of, of the one transcendental objective universe, um, when we align our choices, our actions to kind of get in, in alignment with that, uh, then we suddenly have a choice. We have a choice we can possibly make out of all possible choices, right? Um, and that might be the only choice we actually have. Um, so the, the second item here kind of furthers this idea, which is uh, about autonomy, right? Um, so the only autonomous decisions, which is, uh, you know, decisions that we are making uh, are the ones that are informed. Uh, we must know the alternatives to devise and uh, to, to devise like a, a proper uh, a proper path for our choices to manifest. Um, so, if, if we don't know the alternatives of any other choice we could have possibly made at that moment, we're not really autonomous about the choice we've made. And that's kind of true about all of our choices, isn't it? Because I mean, there's so much information in the universe. I mean, it's, we're constantly bombarded by just like streams of neutrinos just pervading through our, 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 our bodies, our minds, or, or whatever, everything, right? So um, we, we aren't aware of all of the choices we could possibly make, especially not on a quantum level uh, where things just get weird. <laughs> but but um, the, the idea is, is that we're not really ever autonomous. We're never actually making choices. We're, we're, and, but the choices we are making, uh, they, they depend on us uh, being informed. And so you take this and, and you can kind of extrapolate it with an ethical idea. Um, Immanuel Kant uh, possess, uh, or forms this, um, this, this concept called deontological ethics, right? This doctrine or philosophy. And he advocates that uh, the only decisions we should be taking in life are the decisions that we could will as a universal law of nature, that if everyone else took and we still were able to get what we needed out of that decision, uh, then we were in the right. So it's this idea that every other human being 
it, or not just human being, but every other living being in creation is following a certain paradigm or a certain, uh, a certain choice uh, making or decision making um, pattern. And if they were to adopt our pattern, would we still get what we needed out of our decision? And if our decision is based on, you know, living good, harmonious, peaceful life, then our decisions become somewhat more narrowed and, and the kind of path that we have to live on or, or walk on to, um, to achieve those decisions becomes increasingly more narrow. So um, do we have a choice? Maybe we have one choice. Do we have autonomy? Maybe only in certain s situations, right? Um, but it's very limited. Um, and then the third thing is about change, right? So what can we actually change in life? And the reality is a lot. We can, we can change a lot of things in life. Because we don't have to have access to all of these other uh, people or events or uh, even timelines. <laughs> could be something happening in another time, but it's it's also happening now, right? We don't have access to that information, so we don't need to, to make calls on behalf of it. We are only responsible for the lot that we're given, and within that, we can change a lot about what happens in our life. Um, it depends on, it depends on really whether or not we're willing to do it. But as you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And if you put your mind to it, anything is possible, right? So, so that's, that's everything there is to cover on free will. If you guys have any other ideas or, or concepts that you want to speak on or, or write about um, and introduce into this discussion and conversation, please write them down in the comments. See if we can get a conversation started on this subject. It is a really interesting subject. Everyone's always been fascinated with it. Um, and at some point in their lives, they probably ask themselves whether or not they actually do have free will. So uh, if you like the video, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching.